So I'm going to say receive payment from here. Receive payment. And it'll create the, the report once again, just like we saw before. So let's just do the same thing here. So we'll keep the same date payment. I'm just going to say cash again, just for the purposes of, of thinking of it, increasing the payment to deposit, even though it's a large dollar amount, this is going to do the same thing. Let's say what it's going to do. It's a receive payment. That means it's going to decrease accounts receivable. And then it's going to decrease the sub account for the customer. The other side is going to go into some kind of cash account, not the checking account yet, because we told it to go to the payment to deposit, which is like undeposited funds, the clearing accounts, so that we can group that money together in the same format that it's going to be physically deposited into our checking account. Let's save it and close it. Check it out one more time. Tab it to the right. Let's run it to refresh it. We've got the A to the R going into the AR. And so there's these three. Smith is the last one. If I go into that one, then of course, there's our form. Closing it back out, scrolling up. The other side is going to go to the payment to deposit opening that up there it is in there we've got these three payments so if we deposit them at one time into the checking account it's going to be deposited at twenty thousand five hundred. 